Right, elephant in the room. Okay. Ben has forgotten his laptop. Yep. And so then we had to download Logic quickly on my laptop. This is like broken. For those listening on the podcast, he's talking yeah, about sorry, yeah. his microphone. M- microphone stand. As opposed to his friend Ben. <laughs> <laughs> who also is it's rather also broken. A little bit broken. So we are back for season two, Benny. Whoa, officially episode seven. Episode seven, but episode one of season two, but episode seven, yeah. <sighs> wow. Would you, did you ever imagine doing seven episodes? No. No. No, I didn't actually. No. I didn't imagine doing one <laughs> until you came with me with a little glint in your eye yeah. saying, I've got a proposal for you. Yeah. And, and he said yes. And I said yes. Greatest day of my life. Um, oh. <laughs> Orcs. Orcs because she's sitting on the floor in yep. the studio. As she's well. in the studio. Karen, say hi. Hi. Woo! There you go. That might have peaked. Sorry. Can you tell me your favorite thing from season one? Like, what was your favorite moment? Oh, that is a good question. Mm. I really enjoyed being challenged by you to find out more about my postman. Yeah. Or postwoman, as postwoman. we then found out. Rihanna. 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 Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Rihanna, if you're Sorry. listening. Probably that. Just, just a bit of fun. Yeah. Nice. Um, there's a lot of good moments from from season one. What about you? Vinted. Vinted. Yeah. That was obviously super. <laughs> wow, I had to latch onto that quickly. Yeah, that was really close. Did. Yeah. I think some of the feedback that yeah. we've had from season yeah. one has yeah. been really encouraging, really positive. Yeah. And uh, people were excited for season two. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah. Do you know who has been listening to it? Go on. A good friend called Lauren. Say hi right. to Lauren. Hi, Lauren. I was supposed to have a present for you, Ben. Right. And yes. I've forgotten it. Yeah. Good friend of mine, Lauren, um, she has been loving the podcast. She listened on the way home from work on a Monday. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, you mentioned that you'd run out of your Christmas chocolate. Mm. Gutted. Um, and so I'm just tidying up at home and Lauren comes, knocks on the door and she comes with these two massive bars of Cadbury dairy milk and says, these are for you and Ben. Um, I listen and I love it. Keep going. And That's I just, so it was so warming and i loved it and so promise you i have not eaten yours promise you it's still in my bedroom i just completely forgot to bring it with me today that's okay but yeah people are listening and people are enjoying it yeah which, which takes great which takes us on to our high lows yeah it's gonna work exactly the same this season Woo! guys we're, we're gonna kick off with high lows my high yeah. of the week i had a team day on thursday in london yeah. where i gather with my with my little unbelievable team again we are unbelievable but that's also the name of the team phenomenal and i get there and nancy arrives who's my boss what a privilege uh, who <laughs> loved how many shout outs she got in episode uh, 6 yeah uh, for those who have this is the first episode in episode 1 apparently we said privileged so much that nancy picked up on how much we said privileged and then gave me that as some feedback so every time we've said privileged since we've also said sorry nancy um <laughs> And Nancy rolled up to the team day, took out two massive bars of chocolate, put them on the table and five cream eggs. Come on. And was like, listen to the podcast. These are for you and Archie. And I was like, man. This is incredible. For both of us? Well, in fact, they they weren't... (laughs) Hang on, man. They weren't (laughs) specifically for us. They were just for the team day. And then I took took a bar and a couple of cream eggs home. And have I received any of that? No. No. (laughs) But also the best thing about team day, and she'll kill me for saying this, is the team day then starts and we pray every time, you know, we're a Christian organization. Yeah. And so we pray for the start of our day. And and as we're praying, uh, uh, I think Ruth, my colleague, prays first. And then Nancy starts praying. And, you know, my eyes are closed and everything's quite serious. and, And sometimes, you know, when you're praying, you are quite serious. And out of nowhere, Nancy says, it's going to be a real privilege to be with the team and bursts into utter <laughs> laughter. And I just lost it. I, I well, honestly, you burst into laughter or Nancy No, did. Nancy. Okay, at least she, she said, did yeah, first. Yeah, it was yeah, class. Yeah. She just went. <laughs> and then she was like, are you just getting ammunition for episode seven of the pod? And I was like, mm, yeah, of course maybe. I am. <laughs> so there you go. So that's Brilliant. my, uh, that was a real high to, to be with the team, but also for the, for the chocolate. And uh, yeah, just privilege is, is catching on. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy. Um, what about your high? Karen and I just went and picked up a lovely new TV stand off of Facebook Marketplace. Not from Kelly oh, Phillips. Oh man, Wednesday. that was going to be my next question. <laughs> it was almost Kelly. a redeeming situation where she could have she could have clawed one back for the yeah. team. Who yeah. did you pick it up from? Um, Claire. Claire. But also Chris, because Claire wasn't there. Claire so and Chris. Chris. Cool. Surname? No idea. Wow, just, just Claire and Chris. <laughs> Claire and Chris. If anyone ever picks up anything from Claire and Chris, <laughs> let us know. And so we've got, got a lovely TV stand um, for, you know, good T- price. TV, I imagine. Lo- <laughs> 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 yeah, good price, you know, love a bargain. And 
excited to have that in in our future home yes um, which is exciting so we're kind of gradually building the i don't know oh, repertoire the right word no it's not the right um word. you're slowly building inventory sure yeah going with I it i guess it is inventory yeah slowly building up different things um and so yeah that's that's really exciting can i just say yeah last time i said i really wanted a chocolate bar we've got two so what do you desperately need um a sofa so guys <laughs> if you've loved the podcast i'm not, i'm not look i'm not gonna i'm not no, no no i'm not gonna ask for it specifically i'm just gonna look i'm not even gonna think about a couch i'm just gonna say if you've enjoyed the podcast so far <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Archie might need one. So there we go. There you go. I can, all, all I can do is ask. All I can do is ask. There the Lord go. works in mysterious he ways. He really does. So, so far. So far, we're having fun. <laughs> and oh, no. um, we continue on to season two. <laughs> yeah, we do. Lowe's. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Speaking of things we need, <laughs> my car. Oh. Little Diane. Diane. That's what I've called my car. Where did Diane come from? Mate, that is a great question. Diane the Daihatsu? No, she's a um, Volkswagen Polo. Yeah. Long story short, and I'm going to condense this because obviously <laughs> everyone loves a story, but also nobody really needs to hear this. When I picked up my car, yeah. I got it during COVID, peak yeah. COVID, 2020. No, well, less than peak COVID, but 2021. Yeah. We're still in lockdown right after Eat Out to help out, you know, those glory oh, days. Oh, yeah. Wow. What get, a time. We won't get political. Wow. <laughs> Um, and then I was in Milton Keynes at the time. I drove to, I, I got a train to Birmingham to get to pick up the car, but it was a Facebook marketplace purchase. So it was like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm potentially interested in the Ooh. car, but also I'm getting a train. Like I'm putting all my hopes on this. And so I went to pick up the car from somebody called Robert. And then a guy called Andrew met me a bit like your Chris and Claire situation Great, with yeah. the table, but more serious because of more money. <laughs> And he was like, oh, you, you know. You don't know how much my coffee table was. <laughs> That's true. It's I don't probably, know how much you'll go on. It's probably the same it price. It probably <laughs> does. Exa- at the moment, <laughs> they do exactly the same things. And that is just nothing. So this guy turns up and he's, he's quite dodgy. He's like, oh, he couldn't make it because he's working. All this bloody blah, blah, blah. I take it for a quick test drive. Everything's fine. One of the wheels are off, but it's in not as in like it hasn't got three wheels. It's got the spare <laughs> wheel. Flying off. It's got the spare wheel, but the other wheel's in the boot. So I'm a bit like, you didn't tell me about this, but also I'm not getting a train home because I'm here with the cash. Oh, I see. So I had it, they'd put the spare wheel on. Put the spare wheel on, but the other one was in the boot with like a huge slash in it. It was it was okay. it was so complex and yeah. so weird. And then basically, long story short, he said, oh, don't worry about the registration. It, there's a lady called Anne on the registration. And I was like, oh, who's Anne? And he went, oh, don't worry about that. And so I was like, is Anne in the boot? Like, what? Like, how serious are we taking this? And he was like, oh, no, she died. Diane. Listen, let's have a moment for Anne. <laughs> Sorry. I... Let's have a moment for Anne wherever she is. <laughs> As you're telling me this story, yeah. I'm like, why is he telling us about how he, like, how he bought a car? And because I completely it matters. Forgot. <laughs> you forgot what we were doing. I completely forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> one of the, one of, the incredible <laughs> thing is, is one of my friends, uh, Rena from church, her feedback was, she loves how short the segments are <laughs> because she's got quite a short attention span, so it keeps her going. Brilliant. So much to the fact that if it's longer, we forget what we're talking about and just carry on. So yeah, anyway, lo- I say long story short. Long story, Anne died, we yeah. think. So Diane was born. Diane is now dying yeah. on me. Yeah. And I, the only way I can get her to go is to lift up the bonnet, to attach a power bank of my own jump leads that I bought from Amazon. And then I have to put those on, wait for a light to come on, go round, turn the car. And it's, it's basically jump start my car I every single time. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, nor did I. A power bank to jump start the car. Yeah. It's probably quite a helpful thing to just have in the car. Yeah, I, wanted, I, I bought one. It worked. I sent it back to Amazon. And then I realized I needed it for a long time. So, yeah, if anyone is listening and, and wants to get me a new car, <laughs> hey, if we're asking for you guys for a sofa, then I'm asking for a car. Um, the Lord is good. There's my low, There's of, your low of the week. Low of the month, really. Oh, oh. What about you, mate? What's Let's your see. low? I've not been feeling 100% about myself mm. recently. Always struggled a bit with weight. Always been a, a bigger lad. Um, and just, I in the run up to Christmas worked really hard, lost quite a lot of weight and haven't particularly put it all back on. Um, but I haven't been still like losing, um, as much as I had been. Um, and so just a bit kind of like, it's it's a very easy opportunity to get annoyed at myself and be like, Oh, come on. Like you can have better eating habits. You can go to the gym more, blah, blah, blah. Sitting tight on God, knowing that he loves me no matter what people love me for who I am um, I don't have to change for anyone anything but yeah sometimes this week especially I don't know why just it's got to me a little bit this week mm. God's still good and he's still on the throne and that's okay 
that that's been my low, but just trying to see positives through it and kind of work through that. For what it's worth, when you turned up early, I was I was like, this guy's looking good. Oh, he's looking really good. Oh, thanks, mate. You had a fresh trim recently. Uh, no. Oh no! You just your ears looked taken care of, as in you know the, you know you can tell above the ears. Your you, ears looked taken yeah, care of. Yeah, as in of. like they weren't being hugged <laughs> by they weren't being hugged by the hair. It's like a you know where you go go to a hairdresser's and they trim yeah. around the ears. Yeah. It looked it looked fresh. Oh well, and this is about this is probably about a month old. Mm. Well, Maybe. it's looking good, mate. Yeah. Also, well. just to say on that, um, as an encouragement, as your brother yeah. in Christ, yeah. it's important that we point each other back to the truth. Yeah. You are made in the image of God. Yeah, 100%. I know yeah, that's easier said than done, yeah. but you are a beautiful, beautiful man. Thank you. And I love you. Thank you. And I know Karen feels the same way. She gave a cheeky little look just for Vance <laughs> and then gave a thumbs up. Yeah. So yeah, um, love you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Let's go relationship status, relationship status. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Jingles are still there for season two. Yeah, they are. Got some sad news. No, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Got massive news. Noah Khan, yeah. Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness, was incredible. Um, just again, to if this is your first episode, uh, last episode, I said I was excited about going to Noah Khan yeah. for Valentine's Day. Yeah. That wasn't a special treat. It was just happened to be there on Valentine's yeah. Day. The gig was phenomenal. Yeah. Noah isn't great between songs. Oh, he's just it, that way. He, he lacked a little okay. something between okay. songs. And you know, sorry for listening, mate. But, yeah, Noah, if you are <laughs> listening, great music. Poor. Poor Stage showmanship. Presence, showmanship. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, big news. Big news. Uh, so long story short, I got advice <laughs> again, long story short. <laughs> the best advice I've been given when starting to date Lexi was don't make plans longer than you've been together. So for example, you've only been together a month. Don't make plans two months down the road. Oh, wow. Does that make sense? That's cool. That's Yeah, it was yeah, a really interesting. Really Shout out to Ben yeah. Chang who told me that. Dr. Yeah. Ben Dr. Chang. Dr. Ben wow. Chang. Hi, Ben. If you're listening. Yeah, he will be, I hope. Great. Ben Chang said to me over over uh, brunch one day, he just said, oh, you, you know, my advice is not to make plans longer than you've That's been really dating. That's really great. And it hit hard. Yeah, and I was okay. like, okay, we'll really try and stick to this. Yeah. And so in some ways we have stuck to that, but also we've been waiting for like three months to hit because we got, we had major plans. Lexi had been invited to a couple of um, weddings back in the States in yeah. the summer, three yeah. months away. Yeah. And we officially have been dating for three months. There we go. And so we decided to, well, she asked if I would go with her. Great. And uh, I said, yes. And so we're, we're heading back to the States to, I've met a lot of her family already, which has been great, but, um, yeah, to meet her, her dad and, um, her grandpa and other people. Oh, and so, yeah. And all her friends, see where she went to college, see where she went to, nice. see where she grew up really. Yeah. So, um, oh, that'd be really nice. but also amazing things, which is why I've got my, uh, New York Rangers <laughs> on. I mean, it won't be ice hockey season then, but we are tailgating Obviously. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, a little few days in New York because we oh, had to fly brilliant. back from New York. Brilliant. And so obviously, for those who know me well, know that I love New York. Yeah. So we're going to stop and um, yeah, spend a few days in New York as well. Love that. So I'm excited. Oh, that would be great. so excited. That would be great. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's going It's going really well. It's um, I don't know if I've said this on the podcast, but I've said this to other people. It's the, it's, it's the hardest relationship I've ever been in, but it's also the healthiest. Okay, great. And what I mean by that is like, I think it's almost like a mirror is being held up and re revealing the sin that's in me mm -hmm. through who she is. It, it demands of me to be better, not yeah. not because she's setting a standard and yeah. saying, I, but because of who she is, I, I want to be the best version yeah. of myself. Yeah. And so in some ways, it's really hard to grapple with my own sinfulness and my own selfishness, mm -hmm. but also equally like it's the healthiest relationship because... I just, I love her to bits. That's and, great. And it's, Mate, it's that's, going really that's well. That's great. I'm really so, happy yeah. for you. That's yeah, brilliant. I, was, I thought the huge news was going to be that there was a peck, but I'm still waiting to merge. Uh, we, 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 uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 I, to be uh, honest, I'd forgotten about that. Not, not, <laughs> not because we were just cracking on. Yeah. Like I said before, it's, it's still our intention to live that way. Yeah. Like it's tough yeah. and it's, and it's, it's challenging yeah, at yeah. times and yeah. it's really hard, but absolutely it's our intention to not go back on it. And yeah. like, like I said before, that's our standard that we're setting yeah. for those who have, again, first time me and Lexi aren't kissing till marriage. And yeah. that's our, that's the goal that we're trying to achieve. Yeah. And it's, ch it's yeah. challenging at yeah. times, but yeah. yeah. I mean, Karen's been listening to the pod and sometimes she tries to emulate that. She gets a little bit annoyed with me. She's like, no, nope, not kissing you till marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that's class. <laughs> yeah. It only lasts about, an hour um you're irresistible oh, what can i say <laughs> um relationship status still engaged yay whoop, whoop, whoop. how you, you find engagement yeah it's still been tough mm. um but trying to um so we 
going through some marriage prep at the minute. Yeah. We've been going over to Wales um, for a few weekends with um, with a couple um, and just been kind of sitting down with them, going through um, primarily your relationship with Jesus and what that then means for the marriage. So as opposed to quite conventional kind of marriage prep courses, mm. I'm, I'm not slating any of them. They're great, um, but then quite a lot more kind of practicality based stuff. And um, whereas this is much more about um, your own heart, your own relationship with Jesus and how that translates into the marriage. Okay. Um, so it's been really, really helpful. Yeah, um, nice. It's been helpful and challenging for me personally, seeing how, like where my heart is at and what things need to shift, what things need to change. Um, but then just the, the kind of the excitement that comes out of that. We've literally just been this weekend and we were talking about how, you know, we start to make decisions that are our decisions. Like mm. we are one unit. Um, and that just really excites me. Um, a, because it's a comfort of just like, I don't have to do anything on my own mm. anymore, ever, um, come 13th of July. A and just that comfort of like, we're, we're just a unit together. And that's so exciting. Um, and just the, the, the sorry, Nancy, the privilege that that is. <laughs> Genuinely, I, I said that to Karen, like, it's such a joy and a privilege yeah. to be going through this with you and to be excited with you um, and to be building up to that. Um, and so, yeah, relationship status, still engaged, um, still finding it hard at times, but yeah, really seeing God at work and um, kind of working both within both of us, um, kind of speaking to us, giving us kind of pictures and kind of, uh, yeah, we're really just praying of like, okay, what do you mean by this? And what is it you kind of are calling me to right now? Mm. Um, uh, and so, yeah, relationship status, I don't need to say again, um, still engaged, I like it though. but loving it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Really good. Good. Thankful for and pursuit of faithfulness. Yeah. Nice. Do you want to go first? I can go first. Yeah. You go, go first. Who, first. What are you thankful for? Thankful for, um, rest. Nice. Um, thankful for time to be able to just crash out. Um, again, this weekend, lots of content, but we've just had time where we've been able to go out into the hills, into the mountains, go for a walk and just a good night's nice rest, comfy mm. bed. I, I think we often get the uh, idea of rest misconstrued. Um, we kind of think, oh, I just need to go to bed earlier. And sometimes, especially for me, that is the case. Mm. Um, but, but for me, rest can be just hanging out with friends, playing games, going for walks with Karen, getting out of Coventry and into the countryside, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, really thankful for rest. Nice. What are you thankful for? Um, I am thankful for, I'm thankful for my friend, Micah. Mm. Oh yeah. Sorry. You just reminded me. Of go on, you carry on. No, no, you go. You go yeah. You go. I, I'm thankful for my friend, Micah. He, we're reading a book together uh, by John Mark Comer called Live No Lies, which, Good stuff. Uh, and so we're doing a, um, a chapter a week. And I, I just, I'm really thankful for his faithfulness mm. in my life to just, sit with me in the good times and the bad and not expect anything of me, but just love me anyway. Yeah, that's great. And so, yeah, I think Micah, shout out to you. I, I massively appreciate you. That's really good. As a friend and as a brother in Christ. Love that. You reminded me of what my other one was. Right. I was just going to mention one of my other friends, Noah. We often try to keep regular catch-ups. Um, I see him around in Coventry quite a lot, um, but we went for um, a pint the other night. We just sat there for hours without him realising and just you know, really, really kind of like helpful conversations about like, how are you doing actually kind of walking through stuff together and just, I just loved it. Yeah, just nice. a really lovely time to be able to have those people around me, like you, Noah, the Hodges, those people around me, just really good friendships and relationships with people that we can, um, that I can open up to and, and kind of, yeah, really go deep into conversation with. Um, so yeah, nice. yeah. Wonderful. Pursuit of Faithfulness? Yeah, man. We've not got any jingles. Hit me with a jingle. Um, this is going to be massive. Mm -hmm. Zing Grace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. No to sin. The pursuit of faithfulness begins. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you wow, so much. Wow, that was yeah. good. I, I love that. I panicked. I was not sure where that was going to go, but that was great. Nor did I. <laughs> nor did I. I love that. In light of how you feel about yourself at the moment yeah. and how some of those frustrations are playing uh -huh. out, how's your pursuit of faithfulness going? Um, in all honesty, actually, my pursuit of faithfulness is I'm really enjoying my routine at the minute and my quiet times and stuff. I've been, I'm the sort of person who likes to have a regular wake up time and just so that my day is, I just don't have to change my alarms. I kind of have a regular slot. I'm going to set my alarm at half six. I'm going to get up and get on with the day straight away. Um, and so just been really intentional with, with my Bible study. And so that's been really great. And just, I've told my Alexa to start playing worship music at 6.30 to wake me up, to start my day right. And I just kind of, 
I just try to be really thankful in everything. You know, we say, we read in um, Psalm 100, I think it is, is um, enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise mm. or courts or whatever the translation is. But yeah, just really trying to um, not just go to God and just be like, oh, this is what's going on, blah, 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 blah. But really just be intentional with saying, look, you are so good. You are so faithful. You mm. have been and you will continue to be. And just just giving him thanks for what he's doing um, in my life uh, and just really noticing the, the difference in, in what that can do for me um, and my walk with him. Mm. Sometimes I don't give enough time to Bible study because I get a little bit too cozy and hit the snooze button too many times. Yeah. Um, but feeling really spurred on to, yeah, get, um, get stuck in and be really intentional with, with quiet time and stuff like that. And I think like you saying, how's that translate into stuff like how I feel about myself? Um, I think it just makes me instantly go to God, go to him mm. with, with those things and leaving them with him and just saying, look, I, I give you these, these things, these worries, these doubts, and I just leave them at, at your cross. Mm. Um, and I, will will go to the cross leave those things there and i don't have to pick them up take them with me they're not my burden anymore but like the next time i come back to the cross to 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 say sorry or to give him something else like those things aren't there like he's already taken those things yeah um and just that picture of like he takes on those burdens but in a way he kind of like just makes them vanish yeah they're, they're just no longer my my weight to carry and just finding real comfort in that um at the nice. minute what about you how's your walk yeah yeah i think i think very similar to yours i think mm -hmm. yeah the probably the hardest battle of my day is is the between the alarm and getting out of bed yeah of course i think i just find that so difficult yeah and yeah when when i i, I again if i start my day right then then it shapes my day but also <laughs> there are daily battles and daily things to overcome with insecurities and journaling is is still going strong and great as i remind myself i think just to be honest and uh, with myself and not and not try and hide because I'm, I'm tempted to do that all the time even from god who knows my my every thought but yeah i think i think there is a temptation to hide from from god and other people and i yeah. think in that there's a desire to be open and, and honest and and i think that starts with journaling if i'm open and honest with god yeah, then great. there's an acceptance from from other people <clears throat> as well um so yeah right. yeah i think that's that's a big it's a big thing but it, really like you said it's really really hard but but yeah. also yeah, um, it's well worth it yeah as definitely. we know yeah definitely i'm particularly reminded of this family at the minute a friend of mine um called kirsten she messaged me about her son and he's been listening to this and i and i'm picturing us almost talking to him at the minute and just saying keep going mm. like keep on going because times are really tough but the best thing is to um, to always pursue Jesus and mm. to seek him first, really trying to encourage people that it's not easy. Yeah. Um, and saying to you, like things yeah. aren't easy. We know that things aren't easy, but yeah, his mercy is new every morning. Um, we get up and, and we can, we can give him thanks for what he has done and what he will continue to do. Hundy P. Hundy P. hundred wow. percent. That's a throwback. Wow. Well, it's not really a throwback. It's more just, you know, me kicking it with the kids. <laughs> so question never. by the family. Yeah. Yeah. Hit me with it. So we are questioned today by Lydia, Karen's twin sister and her husband, Dan. Um, and they have this question for us. Hello, Ben. Hello, Archie. Hello, Archie. Hi, Ben. And hello to all the fellow podcast listeners. We are Dan and Lydia. I am Karen's sister. So we are soon to be brother and sister-in-law with Archie come July. Come on. Dan has a question for you too. Hope you enjoy answering it. So, boys, if your life was a movie, what would it be called? And why? Okay, bye. Looking forward to hearing the pod. I won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bit Love of tech it. issues there. Okay, if your life was a movie, oh, man. what would it be called and why? Oh, um, that's such a good question. Flip. That's a phenomenal question. Also, um, Lydia and Karen, you sound exactly the same. Maybe that's a game we'll do eventually. Which is <laughs> yeah, who's yeah. talking now? Yeah. Is yeah. it Karen or is it Lydia? Because yeah. you sound exactly... I mean, you are twins, so... Yeah, identical twins. Identical, so you probably look the same as yeah. well, as well as sounding the same. <laughs> so you, I imagine you sneeze the same. Um, anyway, if your life was a movie, what would it be called? It's a tough one, isn't it? Oh, okay. Go Mine on. would just be called Sausage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why sausage? Because I'm just thinking like a, what's the, is it a biopic? Is that what it's called? A biopic. A biopic. Yeah. <laughs> but also a biopic. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, a, a film about someone. Yeah. Yeah. And my nickname is Sausage. Really? Yeah. Sausage Rowl. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. And so. That's the way I rowl. 
Ooh. I feel like that's quite... Rowling in the deep. Oh. You could have had it all. Yeah. I'm, I want to have a think about that more because that's a really hard question to try and it is get Because we also don't have tons of time no, left. No, we don't. Um, uh, but, but I'm just going to go top of my head, top yeah. of my head, three seconds. One, two, three, go. Cutting it fine. Ooh. A Benjamin cutting story. Ooh. Yeah, I, 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 I don't hate it. I like that. Oh, yeah, it's got to be Y, is it? Oh, and, and Y as well? Yeah. Well, that's my surname and my first name. And they're put together and that makes my name. Maybe, maybe, right. Here, no, no, scrap it. No puns. Only Christ satisfies one man's journey through life. <laughs> Wait, stop, of... stop, 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 stop. No, stop, this stop. is all, this stop. is all, you put, this, it. On a, yeah, put yeah. this on a poster. You've got to do this as a voiceover. One man on life's unbearable journey in Birmingham, <laughs> not Alabama, Birmingham, England. Only Christ satisfies. Do, 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 do. Ah! That's not gunshots. That's just like music. Yeah. There you go. Drums. Um, Sausage Rowl. <laughs> <laughs> One man's trip to Greg's every morning <laughs> after his Bible time. <laughs> That's the way he rowls. Do, 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 do. We hope you've enjoyed this episode so far. I still got you. Don't worry. They need a new couch. Right, people, let's wrap up episode yeah. seven. <laughs> it's been a joy. Archie, season two's kicked off with an absolute bang. I've really enjoyed being back. Me too. Wow. And we'll see you in two weeks for episode eight. Yeah. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> I was thinking what rhymes with eight. Happy, Happy chatting. chatting. Ooh, slappy chatting. <laughs> episode seven. See you in heaven. Or, or uh, before. Just, I didn't want to say see you in heaven oh that was too that i thought was... you then just rhyming or before <laughs> or through a carnival door. like <laughs> carnival um all right happy, happy chatting. chatting i was about to go vinted happy chatting <laughs> <laughs>